So this is how you set up Proloquita Go. Um, once you have your iPad open, Proloquita Go is um, what I kind of see as a dancing owl. Um, and when you press on it, it'll help you get started. So you press get started. And um, if you have Proloquita on another device, you would restore it. But right now we're new users. So it will check mark that, click next. Then you would name it after your student. So I'm just gonna name it after myself right now. And so there are obviously a ton of different options and different language options. I'm gonna do English, but you can see that there's Spanish, French, Dutch, and a lot of other options. And so this is where you get to choose a voice. And so you can go in here and you can always change it once you get into the app. Um, I really like Ella. Um, you want to look for a child voice. Um, Josh is a masculine voice. Ella is a feminine voice. Um, you also have, so you can see that some of them are artificial child voice. Some of them are genuine, ch genuine child voice. So you can listen to Kenny, but I don't know if, if it'll sound more artificial or anything like that. I also really like Malik. Um, I'll highlight them as I go. So Malik is a masculine voice and Josh is another masculine voice. And then Ella is a feminine voice. So for this one, I'm going to Hello. choose Ella. My name is Ella. I, will talk. I am one of the child of Mary. And you can kind of move on, otherwise it's it's pretty loud when you do play that. Um, and so as you can see, you can only use Crescendo, the gateway um, to language and learning. It has a little shopping cart next to it. We can't do any in-app purchases as an ESD anyway, so you'd move past that and just click Next. And so... Um, what I would suggest is to do intermediate core. You can always change the grid size. By grid size, I mean number of buttons on the page. Again, you always want to have um, the most robust system or the most buttons on a page that a child can um, access um, in whatever access method they're using. Um, and you want to make sure that when, if you do need to, you can always hide some buttons at first um, temporarily and move past that um, as quickly as you can. So I'm going to do intermediate core. Basic communication is going to have a lot less, um, so I usually do not recommend that. So move forward with a little check next to intermediate core. And so this is the nice piece with Proloquo is that it won't move around like other systems. In other systems, you can totally lock um, the iPad um, and, and then it won't rotate. You can just do like the, the lock, but this one, you just hold it the way you would want it. Um, and so this way it'll lock my, look, my orientation um, the way I would like. And so this shows you what it will look like with the different grid sizes. Um, so you can kind of go with and see what it might look like to have less versus more. As you can see, um, it becomes very limited when you go to the 15 button um, 3x5. I never recommend this. As you can see, you're going to have so many more button presses to say a word or to say things, which actually ends up being more frustrating. Also, it's very limiting in what you can say. So instead of doing this, if you do want to start with less um, to help the family learn the system, usually not the child, but the family, um, you're going to just want to start with more buttons and just have some of them hidden. So you can see it gets more and more robust. You have more words available with a one button press or less. And so um, I usually like to get started with a six by 10 or 60 buttons, um, similar to touch chat word power is 60 that has 60 buttons on it. Um, the 45 is also pretty robust. And then some people start with the seven by 11, which is 77 buttons. It really depends on your student. Um, for this example, I'm just going to start with the 6x10. And so you want to agree and continue. And then it's going to set it up for you. So when you click finish, it will set up the general system for you. And this is what it will look like. None of the words are hidden. Oh, all the voices, post downloads are complete. To make sure that the voices do download, you do want to have it connected to Wi-Fi, whether you're setting this up at home, at work, or in the child's home. You want to make sure you're connected to the Wi-Fi. So now that my voices are continued or downloaded, Two. you can see and just make sure on. that the Two. oops that the voice has downloaded by pressing on it. It does have a super fast rate, so you can adjust that. So when you go into settings, um, you can go in and adjust that. So you can adjust the volume in there. 
and it can also speak by sentence and there's a lot of different um, adjustments that you can make within. Sometimes changing the volume in here is nice, but you can also use just the normal settings to change the volume. And that is how you set up Prolif Go.